What is up, guys? So a lot of you have been bugging me. Uh, you want to see me make some new videos. So I have actually filmed a couple videos, and they will be coming out. Well, this is actually one of them. So enjoy this. Uh, there's going to be some growing pains. Um, this first video, I never really accounted for the fact that the truck I drove to Michigan is extremely loud, and uh, I didn't mic up for it, so I had to put subtitles over a lot of the video. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to learn a few things on the way, as I hope to be posting a lot more videos on YouTube. Uh, this is the first one in a long time. I haven't actually posted in over a year. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of work I have to do on this thing. I've got a bunch of great stuff from Holly that uh that i'm going to be installing and you guys are going to get to see and uh yeah just bear with me and if you have any suggestions leave it in the comments i'm not a cameraman i never went to school for any of this it's going to take a lot of time effort and practice but we'll get there together and uh yeah i appreciate you guys watching and uh following along and remember to like share and follow too um it helps a lot and it helps with the uh the motivation to keep this thing going uh, yeah, it doesn't smell like more. How are you? Thank you. Not too bad. Okay. What? Ah, uh, cash. Okay. Um, do you have a loony? What is it, American? Four fifty. There's five. Perfect. Thank you.
Now, I'm going to cut in here. Um, we were coming up to the border gate, and I really didn't know this. Uh, you're not supposed to film when you're crossing the border, which, you know, I wouldn't be able to post it anyways. But anytime we really got close to the border, uh, my phone camera stopped working. So they've got something going on there that, uh, that prevents you from filming while you're crossing. So there's a little bit of the video missing, but... Uh, basically I got through the border and we took a turn off of the interstate as soon as we got on and looked for a gas station. We're actually pulling up on an Amoco right now and since we're here already I might uh, pop in and just see what they have. Nothing jumps out at me but a lot of these pumps there's only like there's like if there's E85 there's maybe one two pumps so hopefully we get lucky real quick um i thought this is where the speedway was but that's i'm wrong <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we might get lucky okay so uh those all have three buttons and yeah three buttons so that'll be like 85 what 80 87 no 87 i think the only time i've seen 80 or no yeah 87 89 93 I do not see any corn fuel. There's a diesel pump. Okay, so there is no E85 at the ammo. We are at the Speedway, and I feel like we've been at this one before, and they didn't have it. Yeah, we have been at this one. Yeah, when we, we came have. home from uh, Florida last year, we've been at the Speedway, and I don't think we found it here, because I would have made a mental note of that. Okay, so <laughs> that rumor is not true. Speedway doesn't have it. So there's a BP right here too. We'll check it out. Yeah, what a way to spend a Saturday. Drive around at gas stations in Michigan. Doesn't look sketchy at all, I'm sure too. And we're just driving around looking at the pumps. And nothing. Not a thing. Okay, well, let's try another one. Look. Oh yeah. You see it? No. It's corn. It's corn. Corn, corn, corn. Oh yeah. Wait, can't see it. See that? Flex fuel. We found it. Yes. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Does it smell like corn? Come smell yeah, I can it. smell it from here. Can you actually? Mm, <laughs> it does kind of smell like corn. <laughs> I don't know, it actually kind of smells terrible. Some people like the smell of it, I don't, but it's horsepower fuel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, it does smell really bad. <laughs> it does, yeah, it doesn't smell like corn. So, so far, fill two five gallon containers these ones are for scott put in his money and we've only spent 32 dollars and 71 cents back home that'd be like over well if we bought premium back home it'd be like 80 dollars almost i think so it's i think it's over two dollars a liter right now so that's pretty wicked we have six uh 
20 liter pails of E85. Hopefully we can make some serious power at this stuff. So that's how you get E85 in Ontario. That is the only way. Don't tell me there's a pump, because there's not. This stuff, it said actually right on the pump that it's only, it could only be up to like 51% and I've heard it's not very good in the winter. So we're actually going to take it home and test it. Uh, my buddy Scott, he bought a tester and it is supposed to come in the mail tomorrow. So we're going to give that a go and see how good this stuff really is and see how much, if any, that we'll have to uh, top it up with like VP X85 or X98 to get it up to, uh, to where we want it as far as octane goes. So anyways, time to head for the border and head for home. And we are back at the toll to go back across the Blue Water Bridge. And for some reason, it is cheaper to go home than it is to get here. So we are going to pay the toll and then we're gonna deal with the Canadian border guards, which are usually dicks. Anyways, it's not busy at all. I'm gonna pull up to the gate. Passports, dear. All right. I guess I kind of have to take back what I said about the Canadian side. This guy was actually great. He did politely ask me not to film or post it on uh, YouTube, so I have to cut that part out. But yeah, super cool guy. And uh, as soon as I told him that I had E85 in the truck, he uh, he wanted to see what we were putting it in when we got home, which is this at some point once I get some uh, some freshy new parts installed. So uh, yeah, Canadian border security, maybe not all that bad. As long as you don't get, you know, the French ones. My name is Jean Girard. That was the coolest border guard ever. <laughs> that is awesome. 